Welcome to Shamanic Conversations with Star Wolf. And as most of you know, I've been teaching for a long time and specifically been teaching and facilitating shamanic consciousness. And more recently, really focusing on awakening shamanic consciousness from within and embodying shamanic consciousness. And one of the topics that frequently comes up as a hot topic is when I say to people, it's really important to know the light, the dark, no difference. And people go, well, what does that mean? How can you say such a thing, Star Wolf? There's so much darkness in the world right now. Aren't we trying to lighten things up? Aren't we trying to bring more love and light into the world? And the answer is, yes, we are. But we cannot do that unless we also welcome the darkness. The darkness is here whether we invited it or not. And we're all participating in it whether we realize it or not. And if we stay in denial about that, and if we don't welcome our demons, as one of my favorite gurus, Ram Das, said, invite your demons in to tea. Welcome them in. Get to know them. If we don't welcome those demons or those dark energies, however you want to look at, the, look at them, um, the forces in the universe, the archetypes that are upon us at this moment, that are coming really from within the hearts of human beings, and project it out into the world. If we can't invite them in, get to see them within ourselves, within our families, within our friends, as well as our enemies, then we really don't have hope, um, or we really don't have a right to have hope, that we can possibly transform something that we're not willing to get to know and own ourselves. Grandma the Twilight of the Seneca Wolf Clan Nation used to say to me, Star Wolf, you can learn by wisdom, and you can learn by woe. Or you can learn by both. And if we're truly walking the shamanic path of consciousness, we're going to learn by both. And what that really means is on the days when we're having great days and the light is in, we're flying high, we relish those days. We thank God, Goddess, Great Mystery, Great Spirit, Elvis, whoever, whatever, for the many gifts that we're receiving and that we have the um, the grace that day to embody. But what happens when the darkness comes around us, when something happens to us outside, or when something comes up inside and we're realizing ourselves that it's coming from within us? How do we greet that? Can we greet that with the same welcome? Can we greet that in some ways with the same uh, peacefulness and the same determination to go forward? Or do we let that knock us down and pull us back and feel despaired? Or do we do something and take on an addiction or a distraction to push it back or even project it out onto somebody or something else? The importance of knowing the light, the dark, no difference is saying get to know your enemies, which are the things we don't want to be and that we project outwards, and they're there. Certainly people will play those roles. People, places, and things will play them just as we will play them uh, for others. But we can project that out and we can say, oh, that's out there. That's not me. That's dark. Or we can say, welcome. Welcome, Shadow. What do you have to teach me? I understand this is happening around me as fate. As Carl Jung would say, as fate. It shows up as fate. That's how the shadow shows up. But why me? Why now? Why this time? Or why my town, my country, my neighborhood, my community, or my relationships. What part do I have to play in this? And I can't own it for the whole world. I'm not Jesus, not yet. <laughs> but one of the things I can do is I can own it for myself, the part of me that's in that. And the rest, I cannot own nor should I. But perhaps if I'm doing my bit, my piece, and owning the darkness and making it feel welcome, perhaps I'll be able to bring forth more love, more compassion, more understanding, and more light into the world. So I hope the next time you see me post that, the light, the dark, no difference, you get a better sense of what I'm saying. Yes, there's certainly a difference between night and day, love and hate, hunger and satiation, laughter and tears, but they're just a breath away from changing from one to another. 
and it's embracing the both and instead of the either or that we find wholeness and shamanic consciousness.